Hey everybody, and uh, we got off the ship today and made it way back to Epcot, and uh, we're gonna be here for a few days, but we just uh, got here, so we're gonna experience a little bit of food and wine, go get us something to eat for dinner tonight, and uh, you know, maybe do Remy's hide and squeak. Uh, try to avoid the rain, it's been on and off a little bit today, so uh, anyway, go have a nice evening here. I hope it stays cloudy because the weather feels really good at the moment. All right, so Trez and I also bought the uh, Hide and Squeak Adventure. Um, we're gonna do that this evening as well. It's $9.99 plus tax. Uh, if you buy it from, it is eligible for uh, discounts though. So we're gonna do that while we get ourselves something to eat. Ooh, so we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna start at the Odyssey side and then go into Mexico and work our way around that way. But before we do, I'm gonna go to Club Cool because they have that sour watermelon drink in there. I can't remember where it's from, but it's good. And I'm a little thirsty, so I'm gonna go get me some of that. Therese got her a water, so she's good. Let's see here, which one is it? The Royal, oh yeah, from the Philippines, the Royal. So good. Two cups. All right, let's go. Right, guys, a little change up here before we go get the chicken wings. We decided to stop uh, and get some French fries. Get the uh, fry flight. So uh, we we'll check that out. See if it's any good. So here's what the fry basket or the fry flight looks like. There. You'll we'll see that it is. Is this 750? Um, when you come, you get one of these books, like this, and you open it up, and uh, it shows you all the menus. So, it's a cool little thing they do, and uh, kind of helps steer you around the park. So, here's a look at the fry flight and how they're served to you. So, uh, let's dig in. All right, first fry up on the menu: the sea salt and malt vinegar fries. First thing you notice is they're a little soggy, a little soft, but. Tastes fresh, um, salty, not too salty, a little bit of vinegar taste. Excellent french fry. The next one is going to be the barbecue bacon fries with smoked aioli. Try to get a little bit of the aioli, a little bit of the bacon. See it's kind of got a Cajun seasoning on it as well. You really get all a lot of smoke from the uh, from the uh, from the aioli. I can't really tell if it's from the aioli or the bacon, but you definitely get a strong smoky flavor. Um, you get a good bacon uh, texture. It's not. It doesn't seem like cheap bacon. It's good. It's thick, and uh, even though it's in bacon bits, it's fresh. And um, so, it's good French fry well. The last French fry, the third one on the list, is a uh, sweet potato casserole fry with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow cream, and a caramel whiskey. Um, I'm kind of looking for the caramel whiskey. So maybe it's a little thinner and just kind of went down into the fries a little more. Nice, dark, sweet potato fry. Definitely different. Um, mm, you can taste the, the whiskey uh, sauce in there. Um, the marshmallow is, is really sweet to kind of, as they balance it out, but it kind of just makes the sweet potato fry even sweeter. Um, it's definitely more of a you know, dessert style fry. It's, I'll be honest with you, if I was ranking them, I would probably say I like them in the order that I ate them. I'm a, uh, I like a lot of salt on things, so that fry is right up my alley. I like smoky things, barbecue or the barbecue, the bacon, the aioli tastes good. And then this one's just like a good way to finish it, a good dessert fry. All right, so we ordered one each of the wings. The wings were $7.50 a piece and uh, a little pricey, but it looks like you get about eh, five or six wings in each tray. Uh, certainly enough to fill up two people. So uh, give you a quick look at that. Here's the garlic parmesan. The peanut butter and grape jelly, I believe. The buffalo, the sriracha lime, and the dry jerk rub. All right, first up on the list is the traditional buffalo. Not bad, got a nice kick. Um, 
you know, really buffalo. And they have a lot of the, 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 the sauce probably at one point, but it looks like maybe they were cooked a while and uh, earlier, and so they're not overly uh, heat hot. And the, the sauce, there's not a lot of actual sauce on them. It's just kind of the flavor there, but uh, you know, they got a decent kick to them. Next up is the peanut butter and uh, jelly wing. Uh, you can see it's got plenty of sauce on it. It's, it's more of a sticky kind of gelatinous sauce. Uh, let's give it a shot. I've never had a peanut butter wing before. So, it's definitely different. It's very, very peanut butter forward. So, um, it's not bad if you'd like peanut butter and I like peanut butter I like those wings it's just kind of an odd combination um, I don't get a lot of the grape jelly and as soon as you bite into it um, the, the the gel that's on it or the, the sauce that's on it's thick and you figure it out that it's from the peanut butter that it's made with so um, it wasn't bad where are we at next the sriracha lime nice sauce on it good dark color I like this one. Um, it's not as hot as the buffalo. You do get some heat from the sriracha on the back end. Um, it balances nicely with the, the lime, or the lime balances nicely with the sriracha, so um, you get a little of that tang, I guess, to go along with the, with the sriracha. Um, but that's a good wing. I like it. What? Next on the list, the dry jerk rub. Kind of the traditional uh, Caribbean jerk flavors. If you if you like that, then uh, I think you'll find this wing is a, is a good wing. You'll like it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the order that, uh, that I like them the best out of the five. If I had to rank them, this is my opinion, my thoughts. But first for me would be the garlic parmesan wings. I just think they, they're done really, really well. Um, I always like a buffalo wing too, uh, and that's why I rank them number two. I'm a pretty simple guy uh, in terms of my buffalo wings. So uh, they did a good job with the buffalo wings. The next one is the uh, sriracha lime. I like that. And then number four on the list was the peanut butter. And uh, it wasn't bad. I just don't... Uh, wasn't bad. I just don't. Uh, it's just unique. You know, I don't know if I want six or eight of them, and uh, but one of them is cool to try. And then the last was uh, the jerk wings. And there's nothing wrong with them. There's just nothing. Uh, I would say maybe stands out about them. It's just a, a traditional jerk wing. So, um, but anyway, that's my list. Just a little side note here. They have a uh, DJ in here, so they don't have any. They have a little bit of seating around the edges. They have a lot of tables to stand. Uh, you see, it's uh, about 5:15, and there's still plenty of room uh, in here to stand up and get out of the heat. And uh, like I said, they got a little musical DJ going, so that's pretty cool as well. Trez, where's Remy? If we're gonna stop in Mexico. We gotta find Remy. Uh oh, that didn't take long. Where's he at in Mexico, Tress? Spoilers ahead. If you don't want to know where uh, Remy's at, I'll let you know in advance. But uh, if you don't care, if you come into Mexico, he is on top of La Catina sign of the arches. One down. All right, so we're on the lookout for a couple more Remy's here. We're uh, it's basically back in the front of World Showcase. So we decided to head towards Canada from Mexico. Remy, uh, if you don't want to know where it's at, then uh, you might want to fast forward a little bit. But uh, here we go. He is in Australia. And looks like he has some, maybe some herbs, some kind of herb tea. Tea and herbs. So that's our second Remy. The Australia booth is open, obviously. The sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp sounds really good, but I am too stuffed. The uh, chicken wings and fries filled me up. 
All right, guys, we spotted our third Remy. Therese spotted this one from a ways away if you don't want to know where it's at. Now's your time to fast forward a little bit. And there he is, right there on the corner next to the Earth Eats sign. This Remy has, has even a mess of carrots. We're going to try to score a... Uh, a virtual queue at six o'clock hopefully uh, it's open tonight they have extended hours tonight it's open until 11 for um, people staying in certain resorts and so uh, hopefully we can get that and I'll get to ride Guardians of the Galaxy again over here in the journey pavilion you see Joy who is a uh, greeting guest and entertaining the kids and then if you look over here behind us, there's a line forming for Vanellope, who should be here in about 10 minutes or so. All right, if you are a uh, Disney Visa card holder, um, they have an actually they have a photo spot over here for you that is just for card members. And uh, so anyway, if you go through there, uh, you give it a special character meet and greet. And uh, in this case, let's go see who it is. Who do we have, Teres? Who do we have? Oh, they got us waiting in line. Mickey and Goofy, hey guys, how are y'all? How are y'all? Doing good. Uh, huh? Yes, Trez has it. Oh. That interaction with Mickey and Goofy was awesome. Uh, there really was no line. We were able to just walk right in. And uh, because there was no line there, they were just waiting more or less in the back. Um, they spent more time with you than usual, just yeah. interacting. And uh, they never... The characters do a really good job of not like rushing you anyway, um, especially with the kids and things. But uh, even with us adults, you know, they kind of took time interacting, joked around, and uh, things like that. So really cool little experience. Friday night. All right, so we took off towards the right, towards Canada. Uh, usually we're we're Mexico people. Let us know what you are. Uh, if you're more of a come into Mexico or come in and go to. Canada to work your way around the world showcase, but uh, since we already had Mexico uh, Remy, we decided we would look around in Canada for, uh, for our next one. Yeah. So this Remy, I believe, might be somewhere down here deep in the Canada Pavilion, not out on the walkway. Uh, again, spoiler alert ahead if you don't want to know exactly where he's at. Therese spotted him first. He is uh, on top of the Appleseed Orchard sign here in Canada. Looks like he's got a, a pan, a copper pan to cook with. All right, Therese, four Remy's down. How many do we have to go? I think I messed up. All right, so Trez just realized it was kind of tricky. There's a actual a, uh, Canada Remy, and then there's an Appleseed Orchard Remy as well. And uh, but the Appleseed Orchard Remy is also in Canada, deep in the pavilion there. So there's actually two of them in Canada. So we had to change the sticker. And uh, I think Trez, if I'm not mistaken, just spotted Canada Remy. And if you want to know where it's at, Spoiler alert. There he is, right there on the roof. He's got him a little couple loaves of bread. Let's take a look at this thing, see where we're at so far. So we got five down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, 10 or 11 to go, it's a lot. But So we just crossed the bridge from the International Gateway and we have made it into France and Tres just located Remy 
So here he is in the garden with an eggplant. Now that we found France, we're going to move on to uh, the Brazil booth. I think is where the next one's at. We also picked up a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Cosmic Rewind. So hopefully we get to do that. Uh, I think the estimated time on it right now is about 10 o'clock tonight. We got group 208 on the extended hours. So anyways, that's, we should say that. We got to Brazil here and I believe we've spotted another Remy. And there he is, right there on top of the Brazil booth. What is that there, Therese? Is that onions? I believe so. I think that's onions. It's like a, a like red onion up there. Yep, yep. All right. Tangerine Cafe is next. All right, so we've made it uh, about halfway through here. Uh, we got seven down, eight to go. And the next one is the Tangerine Cafe, and that is right there. So let's go see if we can find him. Ah, I see him, Trez. All right, here we go. Where's the next Remy? He is on top of the corner right there in front of the sign. We walked right by him the first time, and he has salt and pepper shakers. So another one down. We're officially past the halfway point. All right, here we are in the Japan Pavilion. All right, back to looking for Remy. We still haven't found him. Uh, da -da -da -da. Maybe he's up towards the Katsura Grill, possibly. If not, we're gonna walk up the steps and maybe he'll be able to overlook everything and see if we can spot him from a distance. And I think Therese has found him. He is uh, back here up the hill to the left uh, near the Katsura Grill. And there he is, Remy, just sitting on the rocks. Looks like, uh, what's that, zucchini there maybe? Zucchini. Zucchini. So another one in the books. The Hops and Barley booth is back here in the America section. Um, the American Pavilion here at Epcot and uh, the hops and barley is on the right as you walk into it and sure enough there's our next Remy he's got bell peppers it looks like Trev all right so we're leaving the American Pavilion uh, headed to Italy which is the location of our next Remy all right Trez has spotted herself another Remy eye all the way well here's your chance he is all the way in the back of Italy, up on the second story, above Via Napoli. Guys, what do y'all think of Via Napoli pizza? If you've ever eaten here, uh, let us know. We've eaten here a couple times, but it's been a little while, so we haven't had it lately. We've always enjoyed it. If you've eaten here recently, uh, let us know how it was. We really need to get a reservation and get back here. All right, just to give you a quick update of where we're at, we started at the Mexico Pavilion and worked our way around all the way up through uh, Italy. And so that leaves us with Germany, Kenya, India, and China left. And then we'll have this thing done and be able to go get our prize. Okay, so we've made it to Germany. Uh, we're looking for another Remy, man. Whew, I feel like I said that. A whole bunch of times already today, and I know I have. There's a bunch of Remy's around this place. And once again, it's a good thing we're not keeping score tonight, because she would be wearing me out on these finding Remy's, as uh, she just found this one. So where is he at? He is just to the left of the entrance to the beer garden restaurant. Right up there with a bottle of olive oil. So Remy in Kenya, there's the Kenya booth. And where's Remy? He is right here to the right on top of that rock with, uh, what is he got there, Trey? It's like a, some sort of oil. 
looks like a pepper shaker or some sort of shaker, maybe Parmesan, who knows, I don't know. If y'all know what kind of shaker that is, let me know. Therese is up there getting her pictures. And uh, so that leaves us with, I believe, two Remy's left, India and China. And then we will have this thing finished. So let's move on to India. All right, once you cross the bridge here uh, into China, or almost to China, you get to the India food booth here, and there is Remy right there on top with some garlic. All right, we got one last Remy right there, China Pavilion, and we are going to be done. It's taking us, uh, I don't know, you know, we have been haven't been in a big rush. It's taken us a couple hours to do, but we've stopped here and there and uh, did a little shopping and eating and we're gonna find this last Remy and then go get our gift. All right, we have located our last Remy. Uh, there's the China food booth and on top, right there on the corner is your Remy. And Therese is trying to get her a picture so that we can complete this mission. You we got it? Done. You're done? We got it? Let's go get our prize. Every sticker completed, Remy located. All right, so we just went into Disney Traders right here, which is uh, right between the entry, the main entry into uh, World Showcase and the Mexico Pavilion. And that's one of the places that you can get Remy's Ratatouille hide and squeak. And so we finished all uh, 15 countries, got them all, and show them the uh, show them the gifts that you get once you finish, Tress. So you get these little cups. Um, it's kind of holographic. I guess if you turn it certain ways or whatever but they have four different cups to choose from i chose the chef mickey with the little hot dog on the grill um they also have tiana they have remy and they also have figment so you have four to choose from you can only choose one though but that was really fun to go around and find him everywhere the guy was the winner because i found them all i think you found one all right, uh, like she said, she definitely would have would have beat me if we were keeping score. But uh, if we were keeping score, I might have been a little more, a little more serious about finding them for her. So we'll just uh, let her have that small victory. But uh -huh. uh, you know, it's been a fun evening. Didn't take but uh, two or three hours. We weren't in any rush. We ate a couple things. I, we plan on actually trying more of the more of the uh, food and wine things, but. Uh, we feel we ended up getting so many chicken wings and french fries we we filled up on that and so uh, we're still full from that so we'll just have to try more next time and uh, but we had a good time so if you're still with us and uh, you like the content as I said I really appreciate it then uh, help us out subscribe like and uh, y'all okay, have a great evening and uh, I'm gonna go ride uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind when my virtual queue opens up here I think it's still supposed to be about 10 o'clock and uh, we're going to call it a night. So everybody have a great evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. system.